Hello everybody, this is Sir 1983 welcome back. Alright, so yeah, I just uh, pointed out those few things down there in the last video there. Um, the only things you can, you can, things you can fight in this area right now are pretty much the same things you fought in here with Laguna. And actually, you might notice something about this place, is that, you know, those areas where the draw points or the, uh, the power generator was and all that. You might notice that this place it seems to be on its side. Well, it, what, it isn't on its side, it's actually vertical, obviously, and the other way was... Uh, uh, the first time we went through it was on this side, but uh, elevator number two, just ignore it. And as I said, this is a Kiraga drop point because uh, the number two elevator there just takes you to a dead end and pretty much where we just came from, anyway. So, since I've got that other item for uh, Quistus, let's give it make it some use out of it. Power general ray bomb, there we go. Alrighty, so let's head up elevator number one. And there's supposed to be a, a speed junction scroll around here. There's a holy draw point. I'm not going to bother. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. Is that it? Down here? Oh, there we go. Found it. Yay! So yeah, it's just in that hole there. Got another speed junction scroll. Won't need it, but you know. <laughs> there's a save point. Uh, no, I won't save it. I'll get a chance. Uh, I think this just leads to a dead end. Yep. Anything that has a really long hallway like that, it's a dead end in this place. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> a very long dead end. Alrighty. Oop. Whoa, what the hell is that? Well, no time to be pondering. Let's do it! Ah! My body, I can't move! Ah! And taken out of the trash. <laughs> That had to hurt. Damn it! Kills me to let him go. Yeah, and this is Tears Point. Not the Sorceress Memorial, like I said before. <laughs> Woo. Cool. I guess we better fall back for now. The lunar cry. Let's head back. Yep. And he gets switched to the other ones now. Three capsules are approaching. Shall we recover them? Of course. What do you expect? These are the special personnel coming aboard? Yeah, I hope they don't cause any problems. Shall we put troops on standby? I have a feeling we won't need to. Then we'd better station them all the more. <laughs> Capsule recovery team, initiate recovery process. Security, go to standby. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Why do you always play me like that? <laughs> I'm gonna go check him on Edel. Take care of the rest, will you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Neat. <laughs> <sighs> yep, 
Initiating quick thaw. It's gonna feel a bit itchy. Okay, done. Hey, zero gravity. Oh, there's Renoa. Come on. Ooh. Ah. Lock on to rotating ring unit. Lock engaged, generating artificial gravity. Alright, this is kind of confusing. Up, obviously, <laughs> puts you up and right to the sends you towards the door, yeah. It'll take you a little getting used to here. Here's the letter of introduction from Esthar's ambassador. Wow, what is she? 17, 18? Is she dead? Don't touch her! Go save Renault again. <laughs> I understand the situation. Let's get her the med lad, and we'll talk there. Yeah, that Pyatt guy, he actually, he has the Alexander card, so yeah, I'm gonna try and get that from him. Please, follow me. Just follow them. And to here. Alrighty, well, first, you wanna save it, because remember, you can abolish one of the rules from up here, and I'm gonna try and abolish the elemental rule. Alrighty, and it's actually, it'll probably be a bit quicker than uh, normal uh, abolishing, because, yeah, he's not asking you to uh, combine rules, you know. All right, let's try it. Play cards. Yes. See, that's a lot of rules. <laughs> Quit. Open rule is abolished. Don't want that. Reset. So yeah, I'll keep doing that until I get them to abolish elemental. I'll come back when that happens. All right. I'll see. Alrighty. So there you go. Elemental rule was abolished. All right. Alrighty. So yeah, <laughs> save it again <laughs> because I have no idea how long it's going to take me to win the Alexander card. Because yeah, I've got the random rule, all that kind of fun stuff. So actually, let's try and take it off his hands. Play, yes. You can only abolish the one rule. And yeah, basically, if he goes into, like, the play cards and nothing happens, just keep going back to him and all that stuff. Hey, first try. All right, so these rules, well, if you want to see the rules again, hit D or circle, and it'll come up with all the rules. As you can see, there's a lot of them there. Okay, um, I'm going to go off screen right now and I'll, until I figure out, it's going to take a while for me to win this card. So yeah, I'm gonna, just going to show you the moves I make, and uh, I'll try to explain what I mean by, by doing them. So uh, yeah. I'll make uh, my my moves uh, one at a time. All right, I'll see you. Alrighty, so the first move is pretty stand uh, straightforward. I'm gonna put the uh, Elveret down there, and he puts that there. All right, so basically, what happens with uh, the same and plus rules is that, say, if I if I were to put this here, um, that would be two of my cards right there. So basically, if he had a card that added uh, that has a Say he's got uh, a three on one and a, six, a three on the left of one of his cards, and a a six on the top. If he were to put those down right, uh, just to the right of my Elvered card there, uh, the th the three plus eight would be eleven, and then five plus six would be eleven. So then he would flip both of those cards. So that's basically what the the, the plus rule is. The same rule is basically the same, only it's not adding. It's uh, identical numbers. So if I put this down. Put the uh, the, the uh, behemoth card down where it's pointing right now, and he's got a card with an eight on the left and a five on the top. He'll flip both cards again. So yeah, let's. Uh, I'll keep trying to uh, play him for the Alexander card, and I'll be back with the next. Actually, one. you know what? I'm gonna sabotage this game. I'll reset it or whatever, just to demonstrate the rules for you. Okay, first I want to. I'm gonna demonstrate the same or the plus rule. So see, Alexander there has the a, the a on the right, so that's equivalent to ten. So I've got the Cerberus here with the a on the left. So chances are he's gonna play the uh, the Grat card down there with the one and one on the left. And right, because it'll add up to 11 each. Okay, maybe he didn't, but yeah, if you were to put the grad down, he'd be able to flip both the Cerberus and the Exile Alexander cards. So yeah, and let's see, uh, 5, 4, two. Uh, do I have anything? No, I don't have anything to put there, so i put this here, see what happens. <laughs> So yeah, basically you really got to pay attention to what your uh, the other guys playing and all that. So yeah, I'll like, keep playing them. Every time if I every time I lose, obviously I'm going to lose some pretty good cards here, so uh, I'll keep playing them until I get the Alexander card. And who knows, maybe I'll de dedicate the entire next video to uh playing with these rules and so you can get a feel for them as well. I'll also put a link to the uh, the game facts uh, fact I used for uh, learning these rules, all right? So I'll see you in the next video.